Welcome to Wix TV, a place for all Wix action, highlights and behind the scenes. Coming up, we catch up with Kurtley Bill for Noora Gilly Day. Round 14, first grade highlights, Randwick versus Sydney Uni. We talk to Michael Peachy from Noora Gilly at the Uni of New South Wales. In round 14, we head down to Coogee Oval for Noora Gilly Day. Next, Kurtley Bill. So we're here chatting today at Neurogilly with Randwick Indigenous star Kurtley Bill. Kurtley, what does a day like this mean for you? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a special day. Um, obviously, it's it's great that the the Randwick Rugby Club is recognising um, you know the Aboriginal people, um, and you know I think it's very special, um, especially being Indigenous. It's it's always. Um, yeah, you know, it's great to, to be able to be recognised and, 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 and paying respect to to the to the um, to the Aboriginal people. Mm -hmm. And what does it feel like for you to be back at your home ground, at Coogee Oval? Yeah, it's it's, it's always a, a great feeling coming down and watching um, Randwick play play rugby. Coogee Oval is a, it's a very special place, and especially when you're out there playing. So it's great to see all the fans come down and support the, the local club, and um, you know, obviously a big game against. Uh, uni today so it's going to be um, a special one and I'm sure ho hopefully the Wicks can get up. And uh, how can you see a day like this benefiting the Wicks boys? Oh obviously it's um, for the guys you know number one they're, we they're, we they're wearing special jerseys today um, jerseys with um, you know indigenous print on them and it's I think they did it last year as well I think it's just a a great step forward um, you know, um, in, in um, making sure we, we recognise um, our Aboriginal people and you know, I think that they're the only club in the Shoot Shield to, to, to do it and hopefully it's a, it's a great example for, for other clubs to start following um, what Randwick uh, Rugby Club is doing. So um, you know, for the boys it's, it's actually, it'd be huge for them to be a part of this, um, um, this great move and, and, and uh, you know, hopefully it, um, we can continue such a special uh, a movement like this down the track. Mm -hmm. And lastly, how's your leg and when can you be expected to be back on the field? Yeah, the leg, the leg's pulling up very uh, very well actually, so a bit of a slow process. Um, I'm four weeks uh, out from surgery, but mm -hmm. surgery went well. I'm um, out for four to six months, but um, you know, it's, I'm taking a bit of a day-by-day day day process and um, you know, I'll, hopefully I'll be big, back bigger and, and stronger after. Well, thank you very much for chatting with us and Kurtley Beale, everyone. Next, round 14, first grade highlights. There's always plenty of emotion when the Wicks play the students. The stakes are always high and there's plenty to play for. Today was no different. The Wicks had one of their strongest lineups today with plenty of Waratahs in the midst. Ned Hanning in the two row, Dave Woolwich playing inside centre, Waratahs fly, Reese Robinson on the sting, and the Red Rocket Andrew Kellaway locking it down at fullback. The stands were packed, the jumping castle was up, the Jeffrey Sale was ice cold, and the scene was set for a classic round versus Sydney University clash. The boys were lucky enough to have injured Wallabies Dynamo Curly Bill present the jersey in the shed before the game. Sharp Andrew Deegan, the Milky Bar kid, 24-5 at half time. 
some loose ball be jumped on now by Ben Hughes in the Sydney Uni 10. He'll find space. Ball wouldn't slips off one. And he's under the sticks. A good solo effort there. Plenty of talent on the bench there. Ben Starkey, Lachlan Anderson, some serious starters from around his first grade side. Ned and Hannigan pummeled by a strong union defence. Keller Whale scoot and slide one over. Beautiful five points, surprising stuff. And that'll wrap things up. 36-26 is the final score. A great victory by Randwick. After round 14, Sydney Uni, South and Randwick are all equal first on the ladder with 51 points. And in the club championship, Randwick is second to Sydney Uni by 225 points, with East following closely behind. And in the Colts Club Championship, Randwick Colts are second to Sydney Uni by 88 points. Next, Michael Peachy, Student Services Manager from the Nuragili Indigenous Program. Hey Dan, my name's Michael Peachy. I work at Nuragili at the University of New South Wales. Uh, Nurigili is the Indigenous unit within the University of New South Wales. Um, so we look after the students that are already at university, as well as run programs uh, for school students and uh, mature age people. We do academic support as well as pastoral support uh, for our students that are here. Um, and with our programs that we run, uh, it's usually they come on campus for a week, so. Uh, staff, majority of the staff will get involved in all those programs as well. Uh, my role is Student Services Manager, so I look after a team of 12 um, who look after all the students and run those programs. Um, oh, myself, I designed the jersey. For those who've seen it yesterday at the game, um, it was about community, it doesn't matter whether it's a large community or small community, um, and the tracks that people take, whether they go through university and then back to Randwick to play rugby union, um, or whether they're just on a journey as a group or singly. Um, to, well, for the Guernsey, it was a journey to Randwick Rugby Club um, and how they got there. Um, and whether it was coming through education and then to Randwick or whether it was just going to a different community and then going with someone else to uh, Randwick Rugby Club. But I also had where they didn't just travel as people, they travelled as their totems. Um, and whether that was a kangaroo, a emu, a possum, so that was the tracks of the animals. Um, but it was just, yeah, about community and where you can end up. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Join us next time on Wix TV for more Wix action, highlights and behind the scenes.